IO is often the crux of the issue on, on Aurora and getting that right. So I think in, with any database, one of the hardest things to do is to really understand what your database is doing and exactly how much resources that you need. And understandably, companies are a little bit concerned about not having enough resources. So we often see things over provisions. We see that on RDS as well as on Aurora. And then if that basically means that you end up paying for a lot of compute or memory that you're not, or, store, or even storage that you're not using. Now, Aurora removes one of the issues in that you only pay for the exact storage that you use. So if you're currently running RDS, you'll probably be aware that you have to pay for the storage that you allocate to your server, even if you're not using it. And the amount of IO that you get also maps to, your, to, to the storage that you use as well. So if you need more IO, you tend to have to increase your storage, which means you then pay for basically pay more money for your storage. On Aurora, things work a bit differently. You don't pay for, you don't have to allocate your storage. The storage automatically grows and shrinks as you require, but you now have to start paying for IO. And what we often see with many customers coming from RDS specifically is that they'll have incredibly good IO metrics for RDS. So they'll get all those metrics, they can see it, they'll go along, they'll plug all those numbers into the AWS pricing calculator. They'll have everything really accurate They'll plug it in, they'll get a figure, they'll be like, yep, we're happy with that. They switch to Aurora and their bills are five, six times higher. Mm. And that's a big problem because the way that Aurora works is fundamentally different to how RDS works. It's, it, it's like an entire different database engine. It might say MySQL, it might say Postgres, but actually how it runs underneath is very different. So the storage layer operates differently, which means there is no like-for-like -like conversion you can do between RDS and Aurora. Some workloads are fundamentally cheaper to run on Aurora than RDS, which sounds surprising because you get a lot more for your money. And other workloads are astronomically more expensive, like based on the IO. 